Welcome to How To Pam. We uh, are going to uh, start another small LibriCAD tutorial on some dimensioning. So what we'll do is we'll uh, open up LibriCAD and we'll open up a drawing and bring it into perspective okay and I want to dimension this top title block here just so I know how to lay it out so we're gonna bring it down a little bit we'll put the dimensions outside the paper so that we can see what's going on now the first thing we want to do is maybe add a layer for dimensions okay Okay, and the default line width and continuous is good. Maybe we'll change the color. Okay, so that we can see what we're doing. Make sure dimensions is highlighted. And let's go ahead to our dimensions and take aligned dimensions. And we'll see here. We have snap on ends and free snap chosen. But before we do that, let's take free snap off so that we're held on the zero. Okay? So let's get our zero for our first extension line. Okay? We'll get that in. And now we'll hold the horizontal so that we're true and we'll get our second extension line here okay right there okay now you'll notice it won't let me go up any because I've got the horizontal held so what we'll do is take the horizontal off and go with free snap okay we've got free snap on endpoints here and then we can actually rise and lower when we're on free snap okay so we've got 202 millimeters to there okay so let's just click and when it takes color you know you've got it now it's asking me down here for another dimension so let's go back to the zero line and click on that and let's go to the next line here but you see our horizontal is not set again so let's set the horizontal to hold it in position and let's get on that line and we click now again I can't come up there so let's take the horizontal off so that we can rise up And let's click okay now let's go back to zero mark take the next one and again let's put the horizontal snap back on and there is Let's take the free snap off so that it sits on that line. Let's click it. Okay. Now again, I can't go up, so let's put the free snap back on, take the horizontal off, and we can rise up. And click there. Okay. So now, let's... Uh, Let's put the horizontal back on. Let's set our zero again. Take the free snap off. Set the zero. Come all the way over to this next line. Click on that. Again, we can't rise. Take the horizontal up. Set the free snap on. 
and we can go ahead and rise up there. Okay, and if we just want to do one more to find out how we can click on there, come across, click on there, and we get 287, and that's exactly what our drawing border is because the paper is 297 so we've got 287 okay so now we've got those dimensioned take the free snap off now we don't actually have to go over here to get dimensions if we just right click our last command will open up align dimensions there we are in the bottom there we'll click on that and we'll go up to the next one, click on that, and it won't let us move because we have to put free snap on, and then we can come over here. Okay? Now, again, we can click there and go to the second one, click there, and come out there. Okay, so we've got four mills here, eight mills there. Okay, right click to get off of that. Now, again, if we wanted more dimensions, we could go here, or we could just right click anywhere, and the last command is right there, okay? Now, you'll notice these numbers are quite large. So, what we can do is we could actually go to our drawing current drawing properties and go to our dimensions and see we're running 2.5 but that's pretty big so let's change that to 1.5 and say okay to that there we go the numbers went smaller okay and that's much easier to work with okay so we can go ahead and I save this drawing I don't want to mess up my drawing so I will save it as another drawing okay so we're gonna call it uh, top title block dimension okay and we'll save that as another drawing there you go that's an idea on how to do a little bit of dimensioning remember you've got to move your snaps around to uh, make it easy on yourself for for uh, getting the lines to rise above the drawing level. Now, one thing else I'd like to do here is we're going to bring this into view, the whole thing, by going to auto zoom. There we have the whole drawing there. And I would like to be able to load that drawing up as an image so that we can work off of it. So what we'll do is we'll export it as an image, okay? As an image. And we'll put it right there in LibriCAD Pictures. And it'll make it a PNG image. And we'll just go ahead and save that. And it's telling me the resolution is that big. Uh, I could change the resolution. If I just go with one, it'll be half the size. Okay, and that'll be sufficient for me. Colors black and white instead of colored. Background is going to be white or black. I choose white. And we've got a border of five mil. Okay, so let's just go ahead and choose that. Now, let's open up 
our photo program here and see there we go there's our picture that we have just taken okay of our drawing so we've exported it as a photo and now we'll be able to work off of that to lay out our top title bar on our drawing okay of course if you think that's a little bit small to read you can make it larger here in your photo app so that you can see what you've got there okay so that's a little bit on dimensioning and um, and uh, exporting as an image so thank you for watching this short dimensioning tutorial by how to Pam.